what's poppin guys welcome back to a brand new vegas 70 tutorial it is wednesday and of course we have vegas pro today and in this video i'm going to show you guys exactly how to pre-render clips now before i'm going to get into the entire video i'm going to explain to you first for a second why you should do this so let's say that you are editing a montage i know many of you guys are editing different kinds of videos such as gaming vlogs montages whatever so when you basically are editing in vegas pro the more effects you add onto the video whether it's flash or like these bright color splashes, anything you can imagine that you add on montages, it can slow down your progress. Your preview can lag and you could think like your computer is working on overdrive. Well, it's actually pretty simple how you can fix that while just pre-rendering this really small clip that you're editing. Not your entire project, but just that small segment that you're editing. So it's gonna be way, way quicker. So if you guys are excited for that, make sure to smash the like button down below, subscribe if you're new as always. I would say let's get pre-rendering clips right after the intro. Alright guys, so as you can see right now we are in Vegas Pro 17 and I just took a Fortnite clip from a friend of mine who recorded this like back in 2018 and I still find it on my Google Drive folder. So this is the perfect example to show you what I mean with like your preview getting laggy and all that while you're adding like effects. So anytime he shoots on this opponent, I have this really cool effect over it as you can see this flash. So if I play it back, this is what it looks like. But as you can see, it is lagging like crazy. So in order to fix that is while you're editing your video, you want to basically select everything that you want to pre-render. Then you want to hold shift and then you want to press B. Now, as you can see what that does, if I do that multiple times, it is pre-rendering the entire clip. So this is if I press B once with holding shift. So now if you play it back, this is what it looks like. As you can see right now, there is literally like 99.9% .9 the lag is actually removed. And this is how you can actually get rid of like this laggy preview while you're adding effects because you basically want to see what you're doing and not like trying to struggle through the preview lag and like guessing where the effect should be. You really want to do that accurately. So it's actually pretty simple. And also before you start editing and adding any effects or transitions, make sure that you right click on your clip, you hit properties and you want to uncheck maintain aspect ratio and you want to basically disable the resample so it's basically really really simple guys and if you tried this technique after you watch this video make sure to let me know by a comment if it actually worked and if it not make sure to let me know by a comment so i can find another solution but for now you can always just make sure to apply the effects select everything in your timeline you want to hold shift and you want to press b on your keyboard that's going to pre-render it and now you can actually play it back without any lag all right guys so that is it for this video now you guys know how to properly pre-render videos and if this video was helpful to you make sure to reward it with a thumbs up down below subscribe if you're new for the first time and i'll see you guys obviously in a brand new video tomorrow that video is already scheduled on youtube so keep an eye on your sub box and i'll see you guys of course tomorrow